No one enters Irulan unnoticed. While showing no hostility yet, the forest wardens were keeping a watchful eye on the approaching ships, and were ready to defend their land if needed. This spirit gate of Mirgathal, is it somewhere deep within this vegetal maze? The Dark Elves managed to break into the reliquary a century ago. If they could do it, we can. But angels, like demons, have long memories. That gate should now be guarded by a host of Celestials. You have a point. Either Zender truly hears the Mother Namtaru and has plotted us a course to a glorious future, or tonight we'll be dining in the spirit world. The portal was not guarded, but it was not unprotected either. The way was closed by magical seals. Ludmilla and Chana needed to find a way to lift these elemental barriers.
We can take them by surprise. We've not been spotted. Don't be a fool, Charna. The angels worship Elrath, the Dragon of Light, the beacon of truth that pierces all lies. They know we're here, but for some strange reason, they've yet to divine our purpose. As soon as Ludmilla put her hands on the precious relic, she felt the power of an alarm spell. She knew, as Zender had predicted, that she would have to be quick in her escape. The Guardian Angels were rapidly blocking all escape routes. 
they now knew her purpose. And the Deadwood Staff was too powerful a weapon for the ambitions of men. Elrath's blazing eyes! Darkness tests us once again. Will these mortal souls never satiate their frivolous hungers? Looks like it's time for you to make yourself useful, Chana. Why don't you keep these angels busy while I bring her prize back to our Hierophant? I'll gladly give my life for my mistress. But don't believe for one moment I will forget this. Asha uses all, my dear Chana. Now let's see if this staff could be of some use right here and now. With the acquisition of the Deadwood Star, no one could doubt that Zender was receiving visions from the Spider Queen. The staff was powerful, carved in a burnt branch of the elf's sacred tree. It was a weapon worthy of the leader of a nation. Ludmilla and Adar Malik could not yet fathom just how powerful that staff truly was. They were born wizards, and the first rule of the Seven Cities was that every power had an equal opposite. Zender now had a scepter that could summon the power of true death. A death fueled by life. And from this death, there was no coming back. Zender had founded a new nation in Haresh, protected by the Spider Queen. But her web would soon be tested. To the north, Beyond Nelsham Scar stood the ambitious Imperial Duchies of Wolf and Bull. To the west, only the sea separated Haresh from the Seven Cities, who after the destruction of Albatil had renamed themselves the Silver Cities. But necromancers are not good at forgetting, and their own hatred was far from dead. Adar Malik, the Mother Namtaru has spoken. The ghost of Lord Vane screams in the spirit world. The wizards have tethered his soul to his skull and keep it on a shelf in the great library of Aljamasht. Those evil bastards! Are they wizards or demons? There must be a way to free his soul, depriving him of reincarnation. Truly, that is a fate worse than death. Would you heed the Mother's calling and travel with me to the Silver Cities? To bring Vane back to Naharesh so that his soul might be released. Vane was a dear friend and a trusted comrade. With or without the Spider Queen's blessing, I am yours for this. 